Hi again, everyone. It's Al Nigren from the New Jersey Film Festival here with our continuing series of filmmaker interviews. As you may or may not know, the New Jersey Film Festival's spring 2013 season will begin on January 25th and will run on weekend evening screenings through March 2nd. We have a couple of free screenings in there towards the end of the program. But the primary focus of the festival is our competition films. We had 23 that were selected from 320 plus entries from around the world. And today, as part of our continuing interview series, we have Sarah Rempe here, who's the screenwriter for the great feature film, The Last Days of August. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, thanks for having me. So tell us, as the screenwriter, how did you decide to make or write this film? Um, well, um, my husband and I, he's the director, and we co-wrote it, actually, and we mm. had been having a lot of conversations about um, wanting one to write together and two wanting to really explore um, the idea of how people deal with traumatic situations in their mm. lives and how loved ones try to help them cope with that yeah so that was sort of our initial you wondered idea. though if the loved ones really loved him <laughs> at times oh yeah yeah um, tell us a little bit about the actual story uh, well the story is uh, about a paraplegic's friends who pay an unannounced visit to come and challenge him about his life choices um, mm. after his accident. And so it's interesting to hear you say that, that you wonder if uh, they loved him at times, because we wanted really to try to have the characters um, really get each side of the story. And we wanted to feel like everybody was right mm. at some moment, mm. and we wanted to really um, let each person in in the relationship with the main character um, do what they think was best for the character, yeah. even if that's not necessarily what he thought was best for himself. That's true. I mean, the two leads I thought were really terrific. Not that the um, the friends, the mm -hmm. ancillary actors, were also excellent, but the gal who played Shannon uh, is a, a glowing light in the film. Yeah, that's Heather Lind, and she's just a lovely person. Yeah, you can't take actress. your eyes off of her. And mm -hmm. then, and the character she plays also is very sympathetic. Mm -hmm. There's also a towny versus, you know, city folk angle to this film. A little bit. Um, yeah. That's not something that we wanted to hit too hard, but we definitely felt that there were some undercurrents of class issues and mm. the different ways that people address trauma and addressed address behavior and um, sort of roles that people need to stay within um, mm -hmm. when you're coming from a different sort yeah, of life. Yeah, very much so. And I, you know, the reason I brought that up is because the folks that are city-based, or at least that work as investment bankers, mm -hmm. um, have a completely different outlook than Shannon does, mm -hmm. where she's living for the moment, they're looking for the long term. Mm -hmm. and. Yet the lead character, and that's played by Michael, correct? Michael Iscardo, yeah, he's yeah. really wonderful. Michael Iscardo, he's going to be there at the screening he to will do be. a Q and A. Yes, as absolutely. long as well as Greg, uh, Craig, your husband, Defolco. Defolco. Yeah. And so, you know, folks, the wonderful thing about our program is that you get to interact quite a bit with the filmmakers, and you know, that's what makes our festival really wonderful. That you, mm. y y you know, there isn't this kind of pedestal that all the artists are put on. You're mm -hmm. on the same level as the audience. Mm -hmm. And the audience really likes that because they get to experience what you've experienced by a sec in a secondhand or more direct way. But I wanted to also talk about the cinematography and the location that you mm -hmm. filmed in. Because everything takes place over the course of a day. One day, yeah. So it is very Aristotelian. Yes. Um, well, we shot in Cambridge, New York, which is on the border of Vermont. And hmm. um, we knew that we wanted to stay in one location because it's, it takes place over the course of one day and we were a micro budget film. Um, right. So we had to have some of those production concerns in mind when we were writing. Mm. And um, the cinematography was done by Ben Wolf, great DP. Mm. And um, you know, Craig as director had in mind that he really wanted it to feel natural and documentary style and so that we could just sort of watch these people behave and not sort of interfere too much. Um, and it was, an interesting um, production sort of thing to get through to deal with light. Um, and oh, but the light is so wonderful in the film. It I ended mean, up. Um, it's one of the stars like, too, for yeah. sure. And I thought that the actual cinematography, as you mentioned, the DP did a masterful job. Yeah, but it's so. really an ensemble piece. It's the whole thing that really, you know, you talk about micro budgets. It doesn't look that way. 
Thanks. You know, it really looks like millions of dollars went into this thing. And that's what we champion, the real indie film. And yours mm -hmm. fits that perfectly because there's a lot of heart and soul put into the film. And Indeed. We wish there was more of that on the multiplex screen. But in yeah. a way, we're kind of glad, too, because when we get to show off those wonderful films. I, I, the other thing I wanted to ask you is um, the actual time frame for filming. How mm -hmm. long did it actually take to film the movie? We don't have much time, but... We shot for 14 days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I would think that this film itself looked like it was digested over years, and that's another uh, compliment, because Thanks you could much. tell that the film was well thought out, well acted. And folks, if you want to see a really wonderful indie feature film um, with great performances, great cin cinematography and direction, um, and great writing. Um, please do come and see this great film. It'll be screened on Saturday, February 2nd at 7 p.m. in our state-of-the-art facility, Voorhees 105, on the Rutgers College campus of Rutgers University. Um, it's 10 bucks general admission, so it's cheap. Everybody can come. There'll be free food, and you'll get to interact with a lot of great filmmakers. There's three short films that are quite interesting as well that'll be screening uh, prior. So go to njfilmfest.com for more information, and thanks so much for watching this program. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Al.